Rise and shine, my fellow Bacon Bits, and greetings on this fine Saturday. Let's jump right into our art. Today's piece is, as you may have seen, the uh, infamous Minotaur. King of the Labyrinth is the name of our piece today. Um, yeah, so it's a Minotaur. I, I like Minotaurs, except uh, I'm not gonna lie. I need more practice drawing them, that's for certain. I don't draw them very often. But, uh, yeah. I, uh... I don't know what to say specifically. The, uh, the head on this and the horns I know are not quite right. But... It is what it is. Those are more goat horns looking at them now, but... They work. One interesting thing about labyrinths in my like knowledge like I grew up thinking of a labyrinth as a maze and technically you can use the word labyrinth to mean maze but that's only because most people have grown up thinking of a labyrinth as a maze but a labyrinth when it was originally used wasn't a maze so much as a wandering path and so, like, I don't know, I don't quite understand it. Maybe I'm completely wrong. So, uh, if I'm completely wrong, tell me. But, it's like, there's only one way to get out of a labyrinth. And there's only one, like, path to go. Uh, unlike a maze, which has a bunch of branching paths, a labyrinth only leads one direction. And so... But then, like, the problem I have with that is that I don't understand why Theseus, I think it is, he needed, like, string in order to get out. Like, he, he gets visited by the king's daughter, I think, and she gives him a magic ball of string to guide him out. Whatever. Anyways, as you can see, uh, I'm finishing up this minotaur. I've thrown in some walls for him to be running through. Gave him those uh, those hoofs for feet. Um, I think, yeah, I I'm not. I did try to give him like a, a hairy chest, but I don't know how to do that. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty far out of my wheelhouse as far as art goes. So uh, he doesn't grow hair on his chest, I guess. You know, like a mutant. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So that's our piece for today. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I tried giving him eyebrows, and I was like, nah, that, that looks awful. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, comment any ideas you have for future art pieces. Uh, I think I said this last week, but next month's theme is going to be fan art. So let me know what your favorite franchises are, and maybe I can draw something. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, If you haven't subscribed already, then subscribe to become the newest Bacon Batopian. And I will see you again with more art next week.